the city streets We begin to feel the fire We rise like tall buildings As the chemicals they take us higher The night's young and it's just begun As she puts her hand in mine We wanna chase the night Wanna dance to the light Cause stars from the sky Just two hearts running wild Never sleep, never stop Every shot from the top We're gonna, we're gonna be Two hearts running wild Okay, hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Amanda, back at it again with another video. I hope you guys can hear me. I don't have my microphone with me because my daughter did and book. But I wanted to share with you guys this since we're in the spirit of a new year. I wanted to declutter my hair products from ones I don't use, finished bottles. You know, we all like to keep bottles and stuff. I have a lot of products because as much as I, I do content creation i also buy products so things just pile up and get you know get to look like this but as we are doing this i did want to share with you guys my top three products of 2023 so i don't have my number one product here but absolutely absolutely love the dark and lovely hair treats range i think that range is discontinued by now if i'm not mistaken but that was my absolute favorite i don't even have it here wait let me check if i may have a bottle okay no i don't even have a single bottle of it but that was my favorite 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 so my number one is the dark and lovely hair treats all three of them the banana papaya and aloe vera all three of those were my top so my number two product of 2023 let me think my number two product top product 20 i think this one it always makes the list i feel like every year when i make a list of my top products this product falls in forgive the bottle guys oh my gosh that is not cute but like <laughs> you guys get what i mean guys this product is absolutely absolutely amazing i love how it makes my hair feel and it never tangles my hair every time this is a winner every time i need a moisturizing shampoo i always reach 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 for this one so absolutely 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 love it right that is number two what is my third favorite product of last year there's just so many guys that it's so hard to pick a top three i feel like i'm being biased this is like my babies yeah and i feel like i'm choosing a favorite of my babies and you know as a mom you can't do that <laughs> um let's see number three number three i think for me would be a tie it would have to be a tie between the dark and lovely pro new range um why this is fitting in is because it came in at the end of the year so i didn't use it the whole year but loved it when i used it and this cream of nature anti-humidity oils i love these two um they're not pure oils they're mixes this one is more anti-humidity and this one is more oil oil but these two make my hair feel so soft not weighed down and they're very very lightweight which makes for an effortless shine without my hair looking like you know greasy love these two but yeah i think that would be my top three products of 2023 um if i had to add two more products because it's my list and no one can stop me <laughs> i would add the waterless cleanser i have a couple bottles of these but you can see that this is empty but i absolutely love this and i still use it when i have you know um edge dirt from edge curl if you know what i mean <laughs> about to sort them out and i wanted you guys to basically um be with me as i sort out my products yeah so moisturizers what moisturizers do i have i have the duck and lovely olive oil about two of these 
this dark and lovely five repair that's also fantastic if you have dry hair these are fantastic if you feel like you have um a very dry coarse hair these will really really moisturize your hair um if you don't have dry hair it will weigh down your hair but that's how much moisture is packed into them and then for moisturizing shampoo options, I've already told you guys about my sulfate free from Cream of Nature. But Duck and Lovely also has the three in one shampoo, which is as good as like that is also fantastic as the sulfate free moisture shine from Cream of Nature. This is fantastic. If you're on a budget, opt for this one because this one is a bit pricey, but they do the exact same thing one thing i've never used and i have quite a few uh the duck and lovely um what do you call these box relaxers container relaxers i don't use these i use the kit but i was gifted quite a few of these um i should probably give them away maybe someone would use them so i'm gonna take these i have a, quite a few i have this super and i have the super i'm not gonna use these I don't use these. I use the Duck and Lovely box relaxers so that can, you know, come out of my routine. Uh, this, the Cream of Nature Twisting Defining Custard. Uh, for people with natural hair, maybe. I don't know. I tried it once uh, using a twist out, doing a twist out. My twist out came out crunchy and not the one. So if you have natural hair, give us a review. Did you like it? How do you use it? Maybe I don't know how to use it, but this is another one that I'm going to have to give away because I didn't like it on my hair as much. This product, I tried it for the first time yesterday on my and my daughter's hair. My daughter has natural hair. I have relaxed hair, but I have a lot of new growth. And it's quite good. I like that it's um, moisturizing. I don't. I didn't know what to expect, but it was actually quite moisturizing on my hair more than I thought it would be. So um, that is a shocker, but that is uh, staying. <laughs> you gonna stay with me, okay? You gonna stay with me. This is the Tresemme heat protectant, my favorite. I've been using this for a couple of years. If you go back on my videos, this is over though. Like this is finished. I don't know why I still have this thing. And this is a travel size. So this year I need to invest in a bigger one of these because I use this every time I'm blow drying or straightening my hair. I'm going to put that in the finished pile. Finished pile over there. Okay, we're still moving. We are still moving. I didn't use this product much this year. That is the Duck and Lovely Wash Day Miracle. I didn't use it much, um, if at all this year, actually. Didn't use it much. I think I used it once or twice. Um, I like how it lathers. I'm just not um, too sure how to use it when I don't have um, braids. I love this product when I have braids because it just, with the nozzle, you can see with the nozzle like that focus on the nozzle okay you won't focus on the nozzle but with the nozzle you're able to go through like each line of the braids um with ease i'm gonna try use this a bit more this year even though i'm on a pledge again not to have um braids this year and to give my hair a break from braids so i'm saying no to braids this year but i'm gonna try use this a bit more on my actual hair i tried this once i was not a fan of it um yeah i yeah that was not a fan of it. But yeah, that's done. So I can take it Get a lot. Especially when I have braids. It's the easiest way to moisturize my braids. The Ultra Cholesterol. I used this at the beginning of my hair journey. When I wanted a deep conditioner that would moisturize my hair. And then I left it 2022-2023. Towards the end of 2023, I picked it up again love it love 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 it it's really really moisturizing if you're looking for an affordable moisturizing deep conditioner this is the one for you absolutely love it as you can see they're both almost done i don't know why i open both of them and don't really finish both of them but yeah i think i'll take this one out to the finished pile and then use it one more time in my next deep conditioning system a heart speed to the city streets, we begin to feel the fire. We rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher. The night's young and it's 
just begun As she puts her hand in mine We want to chase the night I don't know if that's a thing like if I have this bottle for example and it's halfway through and this one is halfway through can I just mix the two it's the same product right I know they have different shelf lives but like I'm still gonna use it at the end of the day because it's a type so I'm not throwing away products that have something in it I don't know if that makes sense but yeah guys this is me going through my products I'm gonna go through the rest of these products and I'm gonna pack them properly Thank you guys for watching my video with me. I hope this inspires you to go through your products and go through and take out empty bottles. See what duplicates you have. See what you can give away to people who need the products. And see what you can use more of. Until further ado, bye loves. See you guys again in my next video. Bye bye. Giveaway pile.